Hey everyone, Hi Zidane is here to give you the patch overview for Smite Tactics CB3, the release of the Chinese Pantheon. Let's get straight into it. With the release of the Chinese Pantheon, we have 20 new cards and also three new keywords. Now, let's go over these keywords as that's gonna be helpful to understand what these new cards do. First off is Colossal. Units with Colossal trigger their passive at the start of their turn. This is usually a buff when it comes to attack and health. Command, units with this trigger their passive whenever a friendly item card is used. So there's a lot of combinations you can have with using the new items to buff your characters. And finally, Disarm. Disarmed units are unable to attack. Now that the keywords are out of the way, let's get into the new cards. First of all is the leader, New Wa. This leader is 118, ranged, and her ability is to spin two mana to stealth friendly units in a target area. Joining New Wa will be the legendary god, Sun Wukong. This god is six mana, a six seven, with an ability to select one of three different animal forms. Joining Sun Wukong will be three more gods in the Chinese pantheon, Ao Kuang, Chang'e, and Ho Yi, with a unique interaction between Chang'e and Ho Yi not previously seen in Smite Tactics. Let's go over some of the cards that have Colossal in the CB3 patch update. First off, Ugwe, a rare four mana, four three, with Colossal plus one, plus one, Stone Guardian, who's a free card, 4 mana, 3-3, three, three, ranged with Colossal, where you gain plus 1 range. Finally, White Tiger, which is a free card for 2 mana. It's a 1-2, and it has Colossal, plus 0, plus 1. For those of you who want to use the new command keyword, we've introduced a set of Imperial minions. First off is the Imperial Archer, a rare 3 mana, 2-3, ranged unit. The command deal 1 damage to a random enemy. Also is the Imperial Guard, a common 3 mana, 3-3, three, three, with a command attribute to gain plus 1 damage and pardon until the end of your turn. And finally, the Imperial Melee, a free 2 mana, 2-2, two, two, with a command passive that gains plus 1 movement and plus 1 damage. Alongside the new leader, new gods, and new minions are 8 new item cards introduced into the Chinese Pantheon. You can find more information about these at www.smitetactics.com. We also have a lot of exciting new things coming to Smite Tactics not related to the Chinese Pantheon. First up, we've revamped tutorials to be more story-driven. These new tutorials aim to teach tactics to new players in a more fun and enjoyable way. Now move. Ranked will also be coming in CB3. Players will start off by playing 10 qualifying games. After the player has completed 10 qualifying games, they will be placed into one of six divisions. Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, Diamond, or Masters. A new audio cue has been placed into Smite Tactics that now plays when your turn is about to end. And finally, we've added new health bars and action indicators. The health bar should help with user readability, and the action indicators will allow you to quickly scan the board and see how many actions a unit has left. Well, that's gonna wrap up the CB3 Smite Tactics patch overview. For more information and the full patch notes, make sure to check out www.smitetactics.com, and I'll see you next time.